Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, this weekend, thousands of law enforcement officers and their families came to our nation's capital to celebrate police weekend. And while Americans were paying tribute to our men and women in blue here in D.C., North Carolina once again received the tragic news of a brave officer lost in the line of duty. Officer Ryan Hayworth was only 23 years old. He had a bright and promising future ahead of him. He tragically lost his life <clears throat> on Sunday night, just three months after joining the Nightdale Police Department. He and his training officer were investigating a single vehicle incident on Interstate 540 when a drunk driver crashed in their park, I'm sorry, parked SUV, taking Officer Hayward's life. Cody Hagler, his training officer, was seriously injured and remains hospitalized, but thankfully he's expected to recover. This senseless tragedy is another reminder of the constant dangers our brave men and women in law enforcement face every single day. A routine call to respond to an accident resulted in a young officer losing his life in the line of duty. Although he was only 23 years old, Officer Hayworth already had a distinguished record of service. He served in the U.S. Army and then in the National Guard, and then he answered the call once again by becoming a police officer. It's not surprising to anyone who knows the Hayworth family, though. Officer Hayworth's father was a longtime chief of the Zebulon Police Department, and his brother is a firefighter. A member of his family church told a local news outlet he wanted to be a police officer like his dad. They're good, God-fearing people. They care about the community, and it's sad something this tragic happened the way that it did. Nightdale Police Chief Lawrence Capps has noted the high standards Officer Hayworth met and exceeded as a new member of the force. Police Chief Capps said, when we hire police officers, we're looking for individuals that embody the best of this profession. All that is good, all that is wholesome, all that is pure, all that is righteous. Rodin embodied those things. It's no surprise to see the outpouring of support to honor Officer Hayworth. People from across the state have stopped by the Nightdale Police Department to place flowers at a memorial created by his colleagues. Other local police departments are now assisting Nightdale Police Department in their patrols during this difficult time. I'm grateful that the vast majority of North Carolinians truly appreciate the service and the sacrifice of law enforcement. They recognize the men and women serving are good people who put their uniforms every day and take extraordinary risk to protect others. Officer Hayworth is an officer who took those risks to protect others, and he made the ultimate sacrifice in doing so. I know the community of Nightdale will never forget his service and sacrifice. And I know that all North Carolinians join me in keeping Officer Hayworth's loving family and his many friends and colleagues in our prayers. May God bless Officer Ryan Hayworth and all of our nation's brave law enforcement officers. Thank you, Mr. President.